Thank you so much, Davish, and thank you, Nigel. Thank you to the art committee for selecting my work. This has been a long journey, and I said, um, <coughs> if I go back, I think I must have started drawing or painting when I was two years old. My mother raved about my drawings when I was three, and she had a benchmark because she was a teacher. So, you know, it wasn't just a biased mom. And, uh, I think I, I was the artist in school, and then in late teens, I began to uh, do some courses in art, and uh, found that you know this was my passion. Then I got married young. I had two masterpieces: Ronit and Rupa. Where's Rupa? There. And uh, I did manage to continue painting, and I had a show when I think Ronit was five years old and Rupak was a baby, and I got some commissions. But then uh, life happened. Things took a twist and turn, and uh, I had to have a regular income, so art fell by the wayside. And then Fast forward a few decades, I start painting again. And uh, three years ago, I had this crazy idea of going to Central St. Martin's. I applied, and a surprise I got in. I loved the program that I joined. It was an MA in Art and Science. And uh, I was really intrigued by the interdisciplinary subject, all the connections between art and science. And of course, I met some wonderful tutors and some very talented and hardworking students. Let's have a show of hands. CSM, <laughs> hands up. <laughs> you guys, each one of you were my inspiration. I mean, it was amazing, those two years and then to win this award. And so here we are. Amazing, thank you. And talking about inspiration, I think your journey is also very inspirational because it shows that you know it's never too late to change tack, to try new things. So if, if any of you are in the corporate life, remember, <laughs> become an artist. I should point out that I spent 16 years in the corporate world and now an art critic, so I've done it myself, so it can happen.